double KO for the Chiyu, and they forfeit. Don't sleep on Doc's bun. Good afternoon, Poke Sports. Welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Regulation E video, bringing you a Doc's bun team in Regulation E. You guys remember Doc's bun? This thing was actually a lot of fun. It was very good for a very long time, and I'm honestly surprised it took such a, t a fall off from when it was actually played on a competitive level. Nothing has really changed too much, at least nothing that I could notice. There have been a lot more introductions to ghost types and other strong physical Pokemon. There's a, not, a lot more haze users, I guess, as well for Dox Bun, but it's still such a great Pokemon. You got the Chi with the Scarf and Lava Plume next to the Dox Bun, giving you all the way up to plus six, and then just start spamming some body presses. This is kind of a 2 2 2 team. You have the the iron bundle with the nine tails going for like blizzard spam in the top you have a dox bun shiu here in the middle and then you also have like a heat ran rillaboom core which can kind of fill as your filler spots right you do have a secondary lava plume user in the heat ran just in case trick room is set up or just in case you're just in a situation where chiu goes down you just have another lava plume option on the team and then rillaboom gets grassy glide now so that's always a good time Anyway, if you guys are excited to see what the heck's about to happen with Doxbun on the channel, hit the like button down below, subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. Also, thank you so much to Mr. Kurtastic for posting this team on the Pokesports Discord. It's always a pleasure to play a Kurtastic team. Let's have a Kurtastic time. Anyway, with that said, let's get on to today's video. Fred with the flash fire, run away. Oh no. That could be an issue. If only their flash fire user wasn't physical. So let's go for it. Let's go for the Dox Bun Chiyu. We're doing it. Why not? Let's bring it out. Uh, as for the rest of the team, I was considering bringing all my fire weaknesses, but I could just bring my own fa uh, Flash Fire user in return. Last but not least, Rillaboom. Rillaboom just for the Milotic and potentially Water Urshifu. They're not going to bring their Rillaboom against me. I really don't think. That'd be a little brave. The double Ghost types does concern me, though. Especially when one of them is a steel type. Steel type Golden Joe. Oh, if this my Lodic has Haze, that kind of ruins all the fun. It just clicked in my brain that Haze is actually a thing that I could struggle against and probably a very good thing to counter this exact kind of team. But let's hope it's a coil, my Lodic, I guess. No, because then it's hypnosising me every turn. Uh, there's no... Uh, let's hope they don't bring that Milotic, right? Let's just hope that no Milotic is coming to this battle. Because uh, the more I think about it, the more afraid I am. All right, Fred the Umbreon. Sarah Legend, they actually brought Rilla. Wow. Interesting. All right. I think I just give it flash fire. Like, I think I just do it. I hit him with the yawn. Or I just hit him with the snarl as well, but I think I'm going to hit him with the yawn first. And it's lava. Oh, I almost messed up. Okay, cool. It's lava plume, plume dime, baby. We're going for the ghost area here just in case the fake out is coming from the real bloom slot. Giving flash fire to a to a Sarah Ledge feels like very, very fishy business. But I promise it's worth it. Might not be a promise I can keep, but I promise it's worth it. <laughs> Alright, Ghost Terra. They're also gonna terrestrialize here. Most likely the Rillaboom if I had to guess. Yeah, okay. Fire Terra boom. Fine by me. I mean, I'm glad that they're burning it on the Rillaboom. Um, okay. That's alright. It's a spread move I'm doing. I guess I'm gonna yawn the Rillaboom now. That's the only difference that happened this turn. Everyone's going to bed! Okay, thankfully the high horsepower doesn't knock me out. Maybe a shadow sneak will though. I wonder if I should just cut my losses here. You on the Sarah ledge? I 
Oh, I saw back in my own Rillaboom? This is rough. I don't actually know how I'm dealing with Seraledge yet. I haven't gotten that far. Other than just me putting it to sleep and hoping for the best. I guess switching over to like Dark Pulse moves on my Chiyu can be a pretty decent way to do it. I just have to find a way to get Chiyu back on the field. Alright, Rillaboom the Rank Master. Hello. It's me. I'm Monk. There's the Glide. Into the Rillaboom. Not going to do anything. Thank you. Followed by a Poltergeist. Hitting my Dock Spawn with the lefties. Alright, well thankfully not using their... Their Flash Fire Boost. And also... Go to bed, Rillaboom. I'm surprised Rillaboom didn't swap out a U-turn here. But hey, I'll take that. I am not complaining. Um, unfortunately, I can't Terrastalize yet. I could swap again. But I don't know if I have a really... Really good option. Yes, I do. Heat ran. Heat ran is easy here. Especially now that the Rillaboom's asleep. Getting Heat ran on the field is so free. Sarah is actually going to leave before it gets put to sleep. That's fine. Into Golden Go they go. Go, 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 go. Alright. That's great considering what I decided to swap into. Hello, it me, Heat ran. Rillaboom is still fast asleep. I'm gonna eat a body press from the bun. I'll take that. Now, this should be an easy next turn. Especially if this Heat Ran really packs a punch and if I don't miss any fire moves. All I gotta do is click Protect and Lava Plume. Heatwave would do be more damage, but I think I'd just rather not miss. I think not missing is a more important thing. Okay, they just protect with Golden Go. That's fine. They, they really want to try to hit my Dock Spun with a special Steel type move. I don't think I'm going to let them, though. Thankfully, the Rillaboom is still asleep. I'm going to chip the Rillaboom down a little bit, but it's not going to make too much of a difference. Now, I could swap the Dock Spun out. Don't know into what. I'm also considering heat waving because I just don't know if lava plume is going to be enough. All right, back into my AV Rilla. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm going for the heat wave. I don't think lava plume is enough. Also, I'm swapping into Rilla, so I can't lava plume myself. I could, but I shouldn't. All right, there's the Make It Rain. Thankful does not do that much damage to my side of the field. And it's going to lower their special attack now. Oh, and Life Orb Chip. Wow. Rilla's three turns asleep. Thanks, game. What a good game we play. The best game. Heat Wave. Bye, Golden Go. Nice. Okay. We're back in this. Not that we were ever out of this, but it was kind of looking iffy for a while. Kind of looking a little scared. This Rillaboom's getting way too much health back. The Rillaboom has theoretically taken a lot of hits. The grassy terrain finally does disappear. What are they going out with? Probably back into... Oh, no, that's their final. Roaring Moon. There's no way you have a dark move. I mean, a, a ground move, right? Definitely have a dark move. All right, speed was heightened. Fine. I'm going to fake out Rillaboom because I know that has high horsepower. I guess I'm heat waving. Yeah, I guess I'm heat waving. Battle was canceled. Oh! Listen. Fred, you do whatever you want. GG's. I honestly thought that could still go either way. Let me know what you guys think down below. Was that a, an iffy battle or what did you think about that forfeit? On to the next.
Max with the Scizor Conkelder. Rotom Wash combo, I guess. Oh. Interesting. Could be like a... I wanted, I wanted to say it's a Trick Room team just because it has very slow Pokemon on it, but it actually doesn't look like it is. What I know for sure is that I see one, two, three physical attackers. So getting a fully set up Dock Spun might be pretty nice for us. I'm not loving the two Steel types on the enemy side of the field, but at least they're physical Steel types. So we can maybe work our way around that. Let's go with the Chiyu. Bring the Heat Ran as well. I'm trying to think of whether we benefit from uh, Ninetales setting up Aurora Veil or not. I think I definitely benefit from a late game bundle, especially against the Ursaluna and then Rillaboom in the far back. Let's do that, especially since we're trying to gain the speed control on our opponent because there just kind of isn't any on either side of the field. We do have a bundle, which technically I guess you can count as speed control. Max! Who'd you bring? Yo, nice shades. Conkelder Scizor. Neat. I have scarfed Chiyu. I could also go Steel Terror here. Or just Body Press Conkelder. I also would like to Ghost Terror just in case I get mock punched. I'm going to have faith in my Dock Spun living a bullet punch right now. I have a lot of faith in my Dock Spun. They're actually going to swap out the Scizor. Okay, cool. Even better for us. And they swap into Fluttermane. I'm not sure Fluttermane is going to appreciate this hit right here. In fact, I think Fluttermane would really dislike it. A big, like, lava plume into your face. Good luck. We'll also skip to see what the King Kelly is going to do. If they hit me with the knockoff, I'll just be sad. Mock Punch, okay. We saw that coming. Oh no, it can miss. Oh no, it's a well big body. Okay, cool. I was scared for a second. Big Lava Plume now onto the Conk. Gonna leave the Conk at half HP. Gonna burn the Flutter Main. And here's the Body Press onto the Conkelder. Gonna leave it at like one ish HP. Oh, they're lefties. That's a little concern, I think. They still don't know that I'm scarfed, because I think everything happened in, in the accurate speed that it was supposed to happen that turn. Um, I just realized I can't really attack here. I guess I'm going for Snarls. So I'll just keep going for the Lava Plume. Yeah, good. It's 100% accurate. Yeah, I'll just keep going for Lava Plume again. They might not want to protect, because they think they outspeed my Chiyu. I think it just hit me with the Shadow Ball, but no! That won't work. I love Cretastic teams. Look at this, man. Well, big body. Don't forget about Dox Bun, man. Don't sleep on the Dox Bun. Double KO for the Chiyu, and they forfeit. Don't sleep on Dox Bun. Holy, get out of here. They're just mad they got Dox Bun. Hit them with the bun, baby. GG's. <laughs> now, I haven't done it yet today, but this actually might be the first time uh, we go Blizzard Spam as the lead. Yeah, why not? And then we dox one in the back. Listen, I don't hate this, but they have one, two, three Pokemon on their team weak to to ice right now. One of them four times weak to ice. The other one's a potential water type to complete the grass water fire core, and that's weak to freeze dry. I can get screens up too. This is feeling really good for me. Now, if they lead heat run, I'm sorry, I'm sad. But I just don't think that's that's what they're gonna do. I think they see the dock spun in the middle. They realize it's a problem. Which means they might they might just lead heat ran. What do I do against heat ran? I guess I could fire off a hydro, but that's a little a little scary. I definitely set up screens if that's gonna be their lead though. But up but up up. My opponent's name is Dots. It's dots and different fonts. There it is. Okay, you found it, dots. You found the the, <laughs> the enter button. Whew. I feel like a lot of my opponents recently have been really running down the timer. I wonder if it's National Run Down the Timer Day. And no one told me. 
It's my favorite holiday. Okay, dots. Leading with the red eyes. Thunder receipt ran, okay. I feel like they definitely predicted my lead. All right, we got snow warning up. We got the snow up. There's my booster. I am boosted. Now, what do we do about this heat ran? I think I definitely want to roar veil up for now. Maybe just ghost terror hydro pump. I'd be feeling really brave right about now. Let's see how brave I'm, fe I'm feeling. Ghost Terra Hydro Pump here. Aggressive play turn one, but I'm not messing around. I need to get rid of this Heat Ran to be able to win with my Dock Spun. I'm just hoping that the, uh, the Aurora Veil boost is enough to help me out here. Dang it, Heat Ran protects. Which means I'm getting T-bolted or T-waved. No, I'm just getting taunted on the other side. Okay, fine. All right, so it's a nothing turn. That's all right. Worst things happen. Here's the problem now, though. They know what I want to do. All right, well, this is a problem. I'm going to go for the blizzard, and I'm going to go for... Do I go for the blizzard? Double blizzard them? They definitely tear the heat right now. Or they swap it out. I'm going to pray that they, they tear it instead. Because if they keep it in here and they attack with it, then why, I'm, I'm blown away. But yeah, they have to swap it. All right, so whoever's coming in here has a really high chance of not liking a blizzard to the face. Yeah, I don't think Flutterman loves blizzards. All right, T-Wave, unfortunately, onto my poor little bird. But if all goes according to plan, I should be outspeeding the flutter main. All right, nice blizzard onto the thunderous. I'll take that, but thunderous should be going down anyway. Looks like flutter main doesn't go down. Okay, that wasn't in the cards. Okay, I mean, worse worse things could happen. I'm going to Moonblast the Fluttermane. And I'm going to attempt to protect until I can get rid of the Fluttermane. Alright, nice. I don't get parried. They go for the Hex. Not onto my poor little penguin. Now can the Moonblast finish off the Flutter? No, my goodness. They just go for a random heat wave, okay. If this knocks out my Ninetales, that'd be great. No, dang it. The reason why it would be great. I got a blizzard. The reason why it would be great is because then I get my Chiyu on the field and I can make some things happen there. All right, I'm going to try to Hydro Pump it. Wish me luck. They might be so confident in their Hex, and honestly, they should be. That's why. Dang it. I was hoping that maybe outspeed. Thanks to the booster, but no, the para, the para just knocks down my speed way too much. All right, Ninetales should go next. Hit the blizzard. I'm going to have a problem with this heat ran. I could feel it. Ninetales avoids. Okay, get another attack in. We take those. Um... Yeah, let me chi you. Let me start snarl spamming. That might be my win condition. Just get their team so weak on their side. Bruh, okay. Yeah, I snarl spam though. I blizzard and I snarl spam. Oh, actually, I can get screens up. I think I'd much rather get screens up. And we snarl. This is how we do it. They're going to terrestrialize something. That's really nice. That's good for us. It's the heat, Ran. It's a fairy. Okay. Yeah, now my Chiyu can't do anything. But I guess Snarl is still my best option. 
Oh, now nothing I have can do anything. Yeah, this might just be a loss. <laughs> I'm looking at it now, it's looking a little rough. Ah, that Snarl did something. And if I could dodge another heat wave, that'd be really cool. Like, I low-key would like Ninetales on the field now. Nah. There goes Ninetales. But still no damage to Chiyu after that. If they can't do damage to me, I could still win the game that way. Oh, next problem. I can't well-baked body myself. Ooh, yeah, that is kind of an issue. But I can body press them. And yawn the heat ran, I guess I'd have to. Alright, let's body press. Whoa, Chen, and Snarl again, because I'm locked onto it now. Battle was- uh, Another preemptive battle cancel legitimately dots? I swear, I don't think I won that. Why is everyone leaving? GG's. <laughs> Alesso mix with... Holy Hoodra. Alright, Hoodra uh, trick room? Things? Interesting. I think they definitely want to go Trick Room turn one. So I'm going to lead with Fun on the Bun and Chiyu. Okay. I'll bring my Heat Rand in the back. And then I think a late game bundle might be nice whenever Trick Room does decide to end. Bundle in the back might be able to get some pretty cheap freeze dries onto their Wellspring Mask. Alesso Mix. Speaking of Mask, Glacier Ogre Pond is going to be their lead. Interesting. Well, that damn sure does change things now. I think at least. Yeah, I just... What, what's stopping me from just body pressing the Glacier and going for a Lava Plume? Nothing, I think. Let's do it. Let's get set up. Granted, the Ogre Pond can crit through my defenses, which would be a problem, so maybe I should yawn it before that happens. But meh. Whatever. Alright, gonna Terrastalize right away. I'm assuming it's just going to be a water horse then. No, you're going to water mask right away. They must be trying to come my Chiyu like immediately. Like you don't got to go that hard for Chiyu, dude. You wa you probably could have knocked it out with just a regular Ivy Cudgel. All right, here's a Lava Plume. Thankfully, no protect from the Glacier either. Going to bring it down really low. Body press should finish the rest. Here's the Ivy Cudgel. Onto my poor Chiyu, who definitely didn't deserve this. Did not deserve that treatment. Oh well. Here's a body press now. Good boing. Alright, neat. The dog got a KO, folks. We did it. Took us a couple battles, but we did it. Um. Yeah, that one. Oh, I don't have freeze dry. Dang it. Maybe I shouldn't have brought this one. Ooh, especially not now. Okay, in comes these iron hands. What do I do now? I just started snarling things, right? And I'm gonna go for the protect here. I feel like the bundle's a lot bigger threat than the Doc's bun is right now. I could be wrong, but that's just the way I feel. Yep, there's a fake out into the bundle. Got that right. Horn Leech also into the bundle. Okay, cool. I can identify the threat. Here's a yawn. Please leave soon. Let's see if I can snarl the other side too. I low-key want to go for the ghost terror. I think I will. 
And I low-key want to go for a freeze chance on either one of these guys, and I also think I am. <laughs> going for it, man. What else can I go for? I can't make a swap here. This grass water ogre pond is actually giving me some concerns right now. Okay, fine. That's okay. Should be safe from the iron hands here. Blizzard is going to connect onto the ogre pond. We'll connect onto the iron hands. No. Okay. Well, yawn will. What are they going to go for? Volt switch. Ooh. Fair. Now we know they have volt switch now. I wonder, do we keep trying to yawn or do we just start attacking now? Ugh. Gross, man. How am I? This is going to be the world's longest game again. All right, we, we yawn the ogre pawn. We try for the freezes again. No, none of these are connecting. Gooch is going to avoid. We're going to hit the Ogre Pond, though. No freeze. They, they just set off an Ivy Cudgel this time. Onto my poor Wito Bundle. Bye, Bundle. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this Ogre Pond, but I'm currently not dealing with this Ogre Pond. This is like the opposite of dealing with an Ogre Pond. But at least it's Yawn. What that means, I have no idea. Okay, GG. That Heavy Slam hurt a lot more than I wanted to. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm going to go for the Body Press on the Hoodra next turn. Maybe that'll be a pretty decent option for us. I'll get my Heat Ran on the field as well. See if I can raise my defense a little bit more, too. All right, let's Body Press the Hoodra spot. And I think they're going to swap out the Ogre Pond, so I'm just going to go for a Lava Plume instead. Dang it, they're going for the Ivy Touch. I think I'm just dying. Oh, that is so extra aggressive. We live at 28. Body press. Does a thing. Lava Plume's next. Well, well big body. I don't think that's enough to save me, but hopefully this can finish the Hoodra. Nah, not enough. Oh, they body pressed the Heat Ran this time, though, so I still get to keep... A stupid Dox Bun for another turn. And they're going to sleep. Whew. We are still in this. Surprisingly. We are still in this. They made the wrong target selection there, I think. We just take advantage. And we run with it. Alright, let's body press again. Not the Hoodra, though. Let's body press the Ivy Cudgel. They gotta do their mandatory turn to sleep here, too. That's fine. They just want to have a fake out turn. That's okay. We have a protect turn. All right, Ogre Pond is still sleepy. Body press. That's just enough. Nice. Whew. All right. Don't underestimate the Dox Bun, man. We're not technically done with the game yet. And like low key, I don't know how I'm defeating the full health Iron Hands. I do know that I have to double protect this next turn though. Lefty's gonna help us out a little bit too. Oh boy. My hands are sweating. You gotta stop getting health back, friend. Actually, I wonder do I have to double protect this turn? I don't think I do. I think I could body press Gudra and then Lava Plume. And then that should cover all of my bases. All right, yep, them faking out Dox Bun is fine because the Lava Plume should finish off the Hoodra. Hopefully. I think it does. Good. High burn chance, high burn chance. Come on, give it to me, Iron Hands. Looks like no. Okay. We're hanging on to this battle by a thread. Here's the bad news. I'm going to go for the body press onto... Actually, I should yawn. Yeah, I'm yawning, protecting. Right? No, I'm, I'm double tagging. Should I go for the heat wave? Risky, but more damage. No, I'm going to lava plume. High burn chance. 
Doesn't matter. Battle was canceled. Undefeated with Doxman in regulation e. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit the like button down below. Thank you so much for watching all the way, all the way to the very end. Thank you so much, Mr. Kurtastic, for another phenomenal team. I don't know, man. Mr. Kurtastic is taking the throne of, like, the most fun but good kinds of teams. So keep it up, Mr. Kurtastic. These teams are so much fun. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the very end. Have yourselves a great night. I'm Kenneth Pokesports. Peace out. Bye-bye.